Bridges all over North America are aging very rapidly. Therefore, the cost to maintain these bridges is increasing to an amount that's not manageable. Um, just look at the Gardner Expressway, for example. So in order to continue to maintain bridges without significantly increasing spending, we need to find a way to do inspections faster, cheaper, um, without sacrificing um, accuracy. And I feel like using autonomous robotics and AI is an easy way to do that. So my research work involves um, studying how we can use autonomous robotics for civil infrastructure management. So more specifically, I'm working on um, building robots and software for uh, structural inspections of bridges. So the end goal is to have either a drone or a ground robot inspect a bridge in a way that's one, safer, um, but also cheaper and more accurate than the way we currently do things. So here uh, we have the prototype inspection robot nicknamed Inspector Gadget. Um, so the goal of Inspector Gadget is to drive it under a bridge and perform structural assessments with it. Um, so it has a variety of sensors that you would find on typical autonomous research platforms. Um, so it has multiple 3D LiDARs, um, an RTK GPS, an IMU, um, and several different types of cameras. So we have a regular camera and an infrared camera. So what we plan to do with this is um, fusing together all the sensor data to get a map of the bridge. And from the map and from the images that we get, um, we can actually detect uh, surface defects and subsurface defects with the infrared camera and overlay that onto our map that we built. I chose the University of Waterloo to pursue my PhD because it was the one program I found that gave me an opportunity to work um, on, in many different engineering disciplines. So my application is very civil engineering related, however I get exposed to software engineering, mechanical engineering, um, some electrical engineering. So it really gave me the opportunity to broaden my skill set as opposed to many PhD programs where you're really narrowing down your skill set. Um, I really was allowed to, was able to um, choose the direction of my research that I wanted to go in and collaborate with many different types of uh, research labs. Also, the industry partnerships are great here. In, within my first year of my PhD, I worked with three different local robotics companies and it was a great experience really knowing what the demand is in the industry. So you're not in your little research bubble, you really get to see what types of applications are out there, what needs are out there.